All right, taking a look outside right now. This is a live view at the Weatherstem camera over FAMU campus where homecoming is underway right now. So a lot of celebration going on and it's night, even though it's warmer than most people, you right. know, would like for fall, but at least it's a beautiful day though. You don't have to worry about any rain or no. anything crazy. So what do you got? Go, go gadget weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice that we don't have any storms to worry about or any rain chances to worry about. I think it's going to ruin anyone's Halloween plans on the visible satellite. I don't even see that many clouds, maybe a couple here and a couple there. And we're going to pick up a few in spaces and at times. But for the most part, today is going to be more about the sunny and the warm. And of course, that's going to get these temperatures going. We got to 88 yesterday. That tied a record. The record for Halloween is 90. We set it last year on Halloween. And we make it awfully close. I mean, in Valdosta, we're at 83 at noontime. In Tallahassee, we're at 82 at noontime. And in Thomasville, it's 79. There is a little breeze out of the southeast that also transports in not just some of the warmer air, but a little humidity, too. And we're going to see more of that. Here's a time lapse from downtown Tallahassee. And yeah, we can see a couple of clouds in a couple of spots. And I think we will see some, but there's going to be enough blue in the sky and enough sunshine to get those temperatures going. Got a really good chance to see those daytime highs really spike again, just like they did yesterday. How about a few more numbers? How about 81 in Savannah? 82 and in Bainbridge, 82 in Quincy. It's 83 degrees in Perry. Now, m this morning, most of our numbers stayed in the middle 60s. Some got to the lower 60s. We'll probably continue seeing this again tomorrow morning and again Saturday morning and again Sunday morning. Not a lot of change is coming. That breeze, which is noticeable up to 10 or 15 miles per hour, so we'll call that breezy, is going to keep bringing in that warm and that muggy, and that's why these dew point numbers are staying in the lower and mid 60s. Now, that's not middle of summer, uncomfortable humid when they're up over 70 or up over 75, but when they're up over 60, it does a couple of things, and the first thing it really does is it prevents the overnight temperatures from getting to where they're supposed to be this time of the year. Now, that also sets things up for when this next boundary advances across the country. We could be talking about some big showers and big storms. The issue is that boundary is never going to get down here where we are. All the energy driving it is way off to the north and that's where it's going to go. And whatever's left of this boundary on the southern extension is likely going to fizzle out to our north and west. Now, north of that boundary, by the way, the air is much, much cooler. It's going to feel like November in the middle of the country but it's not going to feel like November around here. I don't think we have too many concerns about anyone's trick or treat or anyone's Halloween plans getting washed away. I don't think we have any real concerns about anything getting washed away. We could use some rain, but our chances are awfully slim for the next couple of days. Now, the tropics are still relatively quiet. A couple of areas across the Atlantic where there's some pockets of showers and same here in the Caribbean, but nothing that really looks like it's jumping off. There is that 50 50 chance over the next week for some sort of development. We'll watch. We'll see. There's nothing to be concerned with in the tropics right now. If if anything changes, of course, we'll let you know. We'll go with a bit breezy on the Gulf today. Winds out of the east and southeast, 8 to 18 and seas 2 to 4 feet. We'll put a moderate chop in the protected waters. I think most of us are going to get to the mid 80s. Some of us are going to get to the upper 80s. I would not be shocked if a few spots flirted with 90. Bone dry. I mean, we're talking Halloween after all. And tonight, bloody warm with those temperatures likely staying way up in the 60s. This time of year, overnight temperatures are supposed to be back down near 50. That's not happening anytime soon. As a matter of fact, take a look at the forecast for the next few days and I think it's going to be more of the same. The 60-85 split seems a little bit more like where we're going to be this time of year. It should be the 50-75 split, so running way warmer than normal, and I think this will continue into the long-range forecast. We'll check on that in just a few minutes.